Hi everyone, welcome back to Yoga with Yana. Today I'll be guiding you through a gentle prenatal workout class. This is going to be a quick practice and we're just going to focus on activating our muscles, especially the glutes and the thighs, and this is going to help us alleviate any tension, build some strength during our pregnancy. So whenever you're ready, let's begin in a comfortable seated position. Keep your back straight and tall. Relax the shoulders down and away from the ears. You can close your eyes for a moment. We're just going to begin with a quick warm up. Let's begin to make big circles with our neck. Taking this moment to connect to our breath. And to set an intention for this quick workout class. And slowly return back to center. Let's cross our ankles. We're going to make our way into our tabletop. We'll begin with some back curls here. So make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Your next inhale, let's curl the spine, open up through the shoulder blades, gaze towards the belly. Exhale, back to neutral. Inhale, curl your back, gaze towards the belly. Exhale, back to neutral. Let's do this three more times at our own pace. Turn back to tabletop. Your next inhale, extend your right arm out, extend your left leg out, holding it here, safely activating our core muscles. Let's begin to pulse our hand and foot up for 10, 9, 8, 7, gentle movement, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release your hands down, your feet down. And inhale, extend your left arm out. And exhale, extend your right leg out. Holding it here for a moment. Finding a balanced position. And let's begin to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gently return back into your tabletop. From here, we're going to bring the left leg into fire hydrant and donkey kick. So on your next inhale, let's bring the left leg out to the side. Bring it back in. Kick it back. Flex your heel and down. And do it gently. Let's do this 10 times. So 10. Follow your own breath and your own count. Nine. Eight, seven, you want to make sure you're not leaning too far on your right, so you're moving towards the left side a little bit. For five, four, three, almost there, two, and one. And same thing on the opposite side. Let's inhale, bring our right leg out on the side, down, kick up. Let's keep going for 10. Nine, eight, use your breath, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Kick it back and return into your tabletop. Let's sway our hips here from side to side. 
and walk your hands back towards the knees. You're gonna keep your legs hip distance apart here. Bring your big toes to touch. I'm gonna sit back down. We're gonna do some seated squats. So let's bring ourselves up, hands towards the heart, and down. Up, squeeze at the top, and down. Keep going. We're gonna do this for 15 rounds, or 15 sets, rather. You wanna engage with your breath here. With control for eight, seven, six, five. We're activating the glutes and the booty here. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Sit back down. Bring yourself back into your tabletop. Take a deep breath here through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. On your next inhale, let's extend the left leg out. Lift it off the mat. We'll begin to pulse it up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's keep going. Tap the toes down and up for 10, 9, Eight, seven, keep breathing, for five, four, three, two, and one. You're gonna keep your left leg lifted, point your toes, let's begin to make little circles towards the left side, for 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going, five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, small little circles with your big toe for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do, move on to our donkey kicks alone. Flex your foot, let's kick it up for 10, nine, feel the burn, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Return back into your tabletop. Let's wear our hips from side to side. Glute activation, mamas. This is good. You're gonna feel the burn, but it always feels so good. And I find that it helps to release any of my back. Most of the times so it helps to release my back pain too. So we're strengthening those muscles. Let's move on to the other leg. Your next inhale, extend the right leg out. Lift the foot off the mat. And let's begin to pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Tap your big toes towards the mat and up for 10. 9, 8, keep breathing, 7, Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your left, your right foot elevated. Point your toes. You're gonna make a little circle with your big toe in whatever direction feels good for you right now. We'll do both sides, so it doesn't matter which one you start with. Let's keep going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch directions, a little movement here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's move into donkey kicks. Flex your foot, heel is facing up. Let's kick up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Return back into your tabletop. Let's sway our hips from side to side. Taking a moment here to breathe, catch up with your breath. 
And again, we're gonna walk our hands back towards our knees. Big toes are touching, heels are apart, knees are mat distance apart. We're gonna do the same seated squats to keep activating those glutes, help that lower back to become stronger. Let's begin. Get up onto your knees, hands are in fists or at the heart center. Let's lower down with control and up. Squeeze at the top, deep breathing. We have 10 more for 10, nine, you got this, eight, seven, almost there, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, let's sit back down, bring yourself into your tabletop. Take a moment to sway your hips from side to side. And from here, we're gonna walk our hands back and sit back onto your hips. And this is a quick workout today, so we're not gonna do any more fitness stuff. We're just gonna stretch out here. So bring your feet into a butterfly position. Interlace your fingers around your legs. If you're out of breath, that's totally fine. I always feel out of breath as well. Just allow yourself to breathe. Calm yourself with your breathing. I hold any tension here. Just staying here for a couple more deep breaths. do one final stretch here. We're going to extend both of the legs out into a seated wide-legged position. Toes are facing up towards the ceiling. Hands are in front of you. Your back is straight. Inhale here. Exhale. Keep your back tall. You can walk your hands slightly in front of you. Just holding it here for a few deep breaths. And you can close your eyes if it helps you to connect to your breath better. And just breathe. Letting go of any tension, any stress. Activating our glutes and our thighs is such a helpful thing um, during pregnancy because it helps us keep our muscles strong, which helps our lower back to remain stronger and it helps with relieving back aches. So I try to incorporate these kind of exercises on a regular basis because it helps me let go of a lot of that pain that I carry and that tension. So. Even just a few exercises per day could do wonders for your body. Breathing here for a few more breaths. And gently roll yourself back up. You can bring your hands behind you, or you can use your palms to help you bring your legs out in front of you. Let's bring the palms behind us. We're just gonna add a gentle sway of the knees from side to side. Let go of any tension. And back into our comfortable seated position. Thank you for joining me this practice today. It was an honor to have you here and to guide you through this. I hope you're feeling a little bit more energized and I hope to see you here again soon. Namaste.